Like many MMOs, Elder Scrolls Online features gorgeous locations meticulously crafted. This feature video will touch on 10 secrets you likely missed while in Grotwood, the capital of the Aldmeri Dominion. Peacemaker Khajiit vs. Bosmer vs. Altmer. The races of the Aldmeri Dominion aren't getting along as nicely as one might hope. Unrelated to any quest and found only by the observant, there's an achievement for easing the tensions between arguing parties. It's aptly called Peacemaker. Look for a Khajiit arguing about Moonshooker with a Bosmer or Altmer near Elden Root on the road to Haven. There's also a Khajiit camp with the ongoing discussion. You can also find a Bosmer and Altmer fighting on the northern portion of Grotwood, just south of the Redfur Trading Post Wayshrine. Feeding the Fire, a lore book titled Wood Elf Etiquette and Imperial Guide by Carandus Calvis details some offensive Bosmer customs for the unaware visitors. Wood Elves who follow the Green Pact eat a strict diet of meats and cheeses. This very specific restriction in what they eat leads to certain physical reactions which you may not typically encounter in public or with such frequency. If a Wood Elf makes mention of feeding the fire, simply grow accustomed to breathing through your mouth for the count of 20 heartbeats. A guided tour of Grotwood. A Wood Elf can be found guiding an Altmer couple and Khajiit around Grotwood, sharing trivia on different locales. They visit Elden Root, the Temple of the Eight, and Lay Loria, and make some interesting remarks about a bridge destroyed during the war that has reconstructed thanks to the Green Pact. You can find another tour at the Elden Root Way Shrine, and a third one heading south the road to Haven past Roots Under Ruins. The Mystery Manor. Located northeast from Haven, this empty, unnamed mansion had players confused for the longest time since its addition with Update 1. Fast forward to Update 6, and the name Molamir's Estate appeared. However, access to the manor was restricted again in Patch 2.0.9, citing, Two doors in Grotwood that were not meant for entry at this time have been sealed. We wondered what this was about forever until it turned up named Volunidai's Manor as part of the Thieves Guild DLC quest, the one that got away. Bosmer Insight If you have completed this quest, you can return to the altar of your choosing and reapply the buff for your other activities in Grotwood. Unfortunately, it doesn't carry over to PvP or dungeons, but it is really rather useful for farming world bosses or materials. Pickpocket a Throne If you want to get the coveted Wood Elf Throne blueprint, you should try pickpocketing the nobles within the throne room and near the Way Shrine in Elden Root. To make it easier for you, make sure to invest points into the Lightfinger skill. And if you've completed the Thieves Guild DLC, bring along your smuggler assistant to be able to get rid of whatever you get while you farm. Finding Mayak Mayak is a recurring Elder Scrolls character that has appeared in Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim. He's found in Grotwood too, and if you find and talk to him, there are no prompts or in-game guides for this, you will eventually unlock the achievement I Like Mayak. If you find him near the Tower of Mundus Stone, Mayak is atop the cliff overlooking the road from Haven to South Point. He will grace you with this. Mayak once climbed the Elden Tree, then he learned of the stairs inside. Good thing, for his claws began to hurt. Terrorizing Merchants You don't want to miss your chance to extort some merchant out of gold in Grotwood as a way to get revenge for their outrageous repair fees. The achievement Crime Pays ticks off another victim. Make sure you have the intimidating presence from the Fighters Guild skill line, and talk to Trader Rabamak, a Khajiit located west of Gilvardel Way Shrine, or in any of the other four marked locations. These are rare spawns, so cycle all the locations every hour. Donating to a beggar. The achievement Give to the Poor is also present in Grotwood. Find the Breton beggar Mathis by going to Roots Under Runes and heading south down the road. Light a Fire. Another zone achievement easily missed, Lightbringer can be advanced in Grotwood. Head west from Redfur Trading Post and you'll meet Heriglor and Mainrend, who are arguing about their campfire. Light it for them and receive the buff Firelight, increasing your maximum stamina by 5% for 30 minutes. And that concludes our tour of Grotwood. If you'd like one more thing to do, head west from Roots Under Ruins and you can watch Cornair perform his Bug Wrangler show. If you need extra help for in-game activities, be sure to check out the SO Wiki for Grotwood Sky Shards and all Grotwood quests.